Hey everybody, welcome back to the Baseball America Prospect Pad. I'm Kyle Glazer, joined here by Pirates pitching prospect Mitch Keller. Mitch, the Futures game is obviously uh, a, a tremendous honor. Yeah. When you found out that you'd been selected, uh, who was the first person you called to tell? Uh, I called my dad uh, first, and uh, it was just a huge honor to be told that I was coming here, and uh, I was overwhelmed with excitement just because it's something I was working for. I wanted to come last year, didn't get the opportunity, and then just to be able to come this year is awesome. You said you were working for I mean, was that like your <coughs> a stated goal beginning of the year, get to the Futures game? Uh, not really a stated goal. I just kind of knew about it, and I've, I've watched it in previous years too, so it's always something you, you dream of coming to. So obviously you mentioned you were overwhelmed and excited. What was your dad's reaction when you found out? Uh, he was kind of speechless at first, and then, then his next thought was, uh, you know, when is it and where and are we, we're coming out, so that was cool. Yeah, so who's all here? You brought your whole family out? Uh, my dad, my brother, and my cousin Adam are here um, to visit, so I mean, that's cool. You know, I think the future game, we focus so much on the game itself and the yeah. players, but uh, just how much more does it mean for you to, to have your family here with you? For, I mean, this is kind of a, a pinnacle-ish type of moment. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's awesome to have their support and just to be able to see them and look up into the stands and they get to experience this moment with me. It's, it's awesome. So in a game like this, the Futures game, you know, you only get one inning. Mm -hmm. Everyone kind of wants to blow it out. Is the mindset more, hey, I'm just going to stick, you know, fastball, curveball, and, and go with my bread and butter, or do you want to show all three pitches? Yeah, I mean, I definitely want to show all three pitches and see how they match up against everybody. And um, just, just like you said, it's an opportunity to show what you can do, so why not use everything out there? Absolutely. In terms of your curveball, that, in a lot of ways, you know, you're known for your fastball. Your curveball has always been another pitch that, that's mm -hmm. really well regarded. How has that developed? Because, you know, again, you're not double-A, triple-A. It's not just about throwing hard. You have to yeah. have the secondaries. How has that pitch, you know, developed for you into the season? Um, it's been it's been a really good pitch for me my whole career, honestly. Um, some days you have it better than others. Uh, so it's really just been this year is trying to have it every day and be more consistent with it and throw quality pitches with it instead of just get me over pitches. So, um, yeah, just, just using it as a, as a quality pitch. So there's a lot of really talented players here. Who are some of the guys you're kind of interested to, to see, to face, to meet? Anyone in particular really jump out for you? Uh, I've heard a lot about Hunter Green's fastball. I want to kind of see that. And then uh, uh, there's just a lot of guys that can swing it. So I'm excited to watch, watch that and uh, take it all in. Who for you has been the biggest influence in your pro career, whether it be a coach or, or just someone who's helped you, you know, take that next step? Because at this level, everyone's talented, and it's sometimes it's those little things that could be a separator. Uh, I wouldn't say there's one person uh, specifically. I mean, my family's helped me so much, and just learning from my brother who's been through it and been through the struggles of baseball. So he's helped me a lot, um, just know how to fight through adversity. And then on the coaching side, I've, I've had so many coaches that just been there for me and, and are, are right there with me and are helping out every step of the way. So I want to go back a few years. When was the first time you really realized, you know, hey, I can really do something with this, you know, this baseball career. I'm not just one of, like some of these other kids who are just out here having fun. It's going to end in high school. When did you realize you, you had a chance to be more? Uh, I think that first season in low A, honestly, was I was having a breakout year, as, as they say. And, um, the, the two years before that were a little rough in the GCL and in, in rookie ball uh, in the Appalachian League. So you don't really, it's, it's really far away when you're in those leagues. And then when you get to low A and I was doing well. So I think that's kind of the, the point where I was like, okay, I can, I can kind of make something of this. You mentioned, you know, rookie ball and even, even low A, it can feel light years away from the yeah. majors. Now you're in triple A. What for you is it going to be like when you get that call, and, and how much do you think about it? Uh, I try not to think about it too much. Just trying to think about where I'm at right now and, and doing, doing what I can to get myself prepared for the big leagues. Um, but, I mean, I'm going to be overwhelmed with, with excitement when I do get that call. So it's going to be, it's going to be the best feeling in the world.